Thanks to a 100 from Jesse Ryder, Essex are still in a good position to finish off their LV County Championship season with a sixth win from seven games. But it is now Worcestershire who are at risk of missing out on the second division title rather than their hosts in chance for gaining promotion given events elsewhere. All Essex could do was to concentrate on this game and they began the second morning which started a little late because of a shower by earning their first batting bonus point as Nick Brown and James Foster carried their overnight partnership into three figures. Brown soon adding to his 106 and Foster to his starting score of 36. Worcestershire bowled out for 84 in the first session of this match were already 140 runs behind when Brown was out for 118, shouldering arms to Moeen Alley and being bowled. Foster followed in the next over for 48, leg before to Brett D'Oliveira, leaving with his side on 226 for 5, having started the day on 198 for 3. That was the bowler's maiden first-class wicket. Ryder has become one of the very best overseas signings of the summer. Lying in a hospital bed in a coma not so long ago, the Kiwi must have thought his career was over at one point, but he's returned to the game quite brilliantly taking 44 championship wickets and adding more than 500 runs to that at the start of this innings. He was soon putting back to ball in his usual stand-and-deliver fashion in partnership with Kishan Vellani. The latter had made nine of a stand of 38 when he pulled a short ball from Charlie Morris to Jack Shantry at long leg. Morris struck again in his next over, Graham Napier edging to Tom Kohler Cadmore on two, as the home team went to the lunch break on 289 for seven, leading by 205. Ryder got to his 50 shortly after the restart, one made off 68 balls, and he continued to play brightly after that to celebrate a new two-year deal with the county, which will not only delight the all-rounder, but also thrill the members at the Essex County ground. With Hampshire on their way to seven bonus points in Cardiff, it was now less of a case of how many bonus points Essex accrued here and more about winning this game and hoping that Hampshire slip up in South Wales. Ryder took his side to a total of 319 for seven at the end of 110 overs, Worcestershire failing to secure maximum points with the ball for the first time since May last year, that's 27 matches. David Masters stuck it out for 86 balls in making his 18, his innings ending when Daryl Mitchell took a very smart catch at slip off Alley. That ended a 71-run partnership for the eighth wicket and now Ryder closed in on his second ton of the summer with this six off Dolavera. Next ball and the man later called gifted by his coach swept the spinner away for the two runs he needed to take him to his ton the day after he'd taken a career best 5 for 24 and on the same day that his new deal was announced and he was awarded his county cap. His second 100 of the season had occupied only 101 deliveries and included 13 fours and two sixes. He was having quite a match. Monty Panassar, not often known as a great batsman, also provided a flourish in making a rapid 38 with these a couple of the seven boundaries he smashed in a partnership with Ryder, which added 76 runs in only 10 overs. This was Panasar's best effort with the bat for Essex, and he was only eight short of a career best. Trying to better that, he holed out to Alexei Kavese off Shantry with his team on 415 for nine. Ryder moved on to 120, made it better than a runner ball, carrying the total to 431 for a massive lead of 347. He was left stranded on that score when Jamie Porter was LBW to Shantry for five, leaving Worcestershire to try to bat out the last session to just about stay in this contest. Who else but Ryder, who came back out to open the bowling, got the early breakthrough, Richard Oliver edging the New Zealander to Brown in the bowler's second over. A defeat here for Worcestershire, coupled with a win for Hampshire in Cardiff, will see the latter take the second division title, so there was still much to play for for the visitors, who've been at the top of the tree for much of this summer. Ali and Mitchell carried the total to 54. Only for Mitchell to fall leg before trying to cut Panasar on 19, to end his championship campaign with 1,334 runs. 
Ali too has had a summer he will never forget and he would love to finish it off in style for his county. He went after Panasar with this six and after getting to a 50 off 73 balls, he added a second off Tom Wesley, who'd been named in one of the England performance programmes for the winter earlier on in the day. Ali enjoyed taking him on and indeed most of the attack, doing the lion's share of the scoring as he ended the day on 70, made out of Worcestershire's 113 for two. A much better effort second time out from the visitors, who found conditions much born to their liking rather than on the first morning. But they still have much to do to save this game, which they will almost certainly have to do now to finish on top of the second division. They will enter the third day still trailing by 234 runs and with a lot to do to prevent an innings defeat.